heavy metal asal Amerika Serikat yang digawangi Mad Shadows dan kawan-kawan ini kembali menyapa para penggemarnya di Indonesia. Bertempat di Stadion Madia Kompleks Stadion Gelora Bung Karno, Jakarta, Vengeance Sevenfold membawakan lagu-lagu legendaris milik mereka seperti Dear God, A Little Piece of Heaven, hingga beberapa lagu dari album teranyar mereka, Life is but a Dream, seperti Game Over dan Metal. Sang gitaris Sinister Gates pun membagikan kisah di balik pembuatan album Life is but a Dream dan penampilan keempat mereka di Indonesia. First time here in Indonesia, right? Yeah, you're not incorrect yet. <laughs> okay, right. So, how different this year and what do you miss the most about Indonesia? Uh, I think it would have to, as cliche as it sounds, mm -hmm. be the fans. They are uh, the most energetic in the world. There's a couple mm -hmm. of places like this, but not not many and and nothing quite like it. Mm -hmm. um, so from getting off a plane, being greeted by mm -hmm. staff of the airport to yeah. to uh, customs officials and fans all over the place, it's um. Nothing, nothing quite like. I was talking about your um, latest album, "Life Is But a Dream." Yeah. How do you describe actually the meaning of the title of this album? Um, well, I mean, it's almost in the title, "Life Is But a Dream," and I know it's kind of a silly thing to say, but um, we've had different types of experiences, yeah. self-induced experiences, and and so. For us, it was to put together, you know, a series of expressions based on how we're experiencing everything, and um, in its most unique fashion, mm -hmm. I feel. And so, um, it was very important for us to take the amount of time to mm -hmm. get there too, which mm -hmm. we were lucky to have. You know, just the, that point in our career where we were allowed mm -hmm. to take five or six or seven years off and not be abandoned um, by our fan base, shunned. Uh, kicked out of uh, out of the room, so to speak, and so when upon you know return mm -hmm. and reawakening, everybody was mm -hmm. still. So in this album, which song is the most personal to you? Oh man! Um, if you could pick one, but if you could pick yeah. more than this, okay. Yeah, I think, I think cosmic, cosmic is quite possibly the most personal mm -hmm. one. Um, it was the hardest one to to achieve mm -hmm. as far as like what you're visualizing for it and what it was just a, a pain in the ass to mm -hmm. be to be simple about it. Um, it took long to to put together. Um, It took long to mix, mm -hmm. but to conceive of the idea and and then like what we had already, um, we had these just like little funny little things we were singing, you know, back when we were 18 and 19. Yeah. These little things that were you know part of the bridge and the and the outro, um, and it was it's such a simple song mm -hmm. in in that aspect. It's very repetitive, um, but the layers, um, full usage of you know an 80 piece orchestra. Um, Yeah, I, I just can't express. It's just the juxtaposition of how simple its idea was, to how complex it, it was yeah. to to finish. Indonesia menjadi satu-satunya negara di Asia yang dikunjungi oleh Avenged Sevenfold dalam tur promo album terbaru mereka yang bertajuk Live Is But a Dream. Mereka pun berjanji akan segera kembali menemui fans mereka di 